Hello, hello. My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, we completed episode four, which means, as you can see, things things are certainly different on the uh, the intro screen. The hurricane has arrived. Max is stuck in the dark room. Chloe is dead. Like, really dead. We couldn't rewind that. So, ooh. Oh, things are a mess. Things are such a mess. And I see no reason to make this intro any longer than it has to be. I am so excited to get into episode five. Let's do this. Previously on Life is Strange. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh! <sighs> Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. This is so twisted, and I absolutely love it. Chloe? What? Where? Oh! The dark room. I'm just gonna ignore her. 
Oh dear. Can can you get out? She's 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 knocked out. She she's gonna Is be. Anybody out. out there? Please help! Max, shut up. Shut up. Don't let anyone know. Oh, no 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 no, excuse me. No 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 no. I want Victoria. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. Yeah, it is. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. She's alive, at least. That's a good sign. Oh, shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria, too? This is so bad. Uh, out of curiosity, I was, our, our journal, our journal has been nicked. How dare. Also, oh, we, we do have pictures to take in this episode. We've just been kidnapped. We can take some pictures in our spare time. It's fine. Okay, um, I want, oh, there it is. Great. I can see all my things, but I can't grab it. I want to want to look at everything that we can. Of course, and right in front of me. Yep. Well, there's there's a syringe. Uh, there we go. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Yep, that's that's what GHB does. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Oh damn, that's. That's very similar to the um, the position he put Kate in, you know, lying on the floor, arms in front of her. Oof. The trolley. Yeah, we can't move it because we're all tied up. If I could move it towards me. Okay, can we? Uh. <clears throat> help! Somebody help me! About your foot. Can you get your foot out? Uh, there you go. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Grab this. Just stretch. There you go. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh, we're, we're going to jump into the photo where we were being, oh. I, I'm gonna keep saying this. This is so twisted, but I absolutely love it. I love very dark storylines. Like this. Oh, uh, right. Left. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, God, your eyes. Uh, it was AD and left and right mouse button. Okay, got it. Oh, that's great. That voice! This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! my shot but please don't worry we have all the time in the world for now I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie yes I still hate that word but I love the purity of your own image not like Rachel who was always looking in the wrong places poor Rachel 
Let me try this angle. Oof. Oh. Don't move. Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Wiggle, go. Wiggle away. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Oh, out of go. Stupid. Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take the oh. shot. the game devs there just saying hey we put his we put what he wanted to do in the very first episode none of y'all listened ah <laughs> fuck your photos oh jesus i can't believe that happened so sick okay but now we have more pictures oh <laughs> you're coming round Okay, a, a girl? Ooh, ooh. Okay, um, uh, what's this? Okay, I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Okay, so we got some glass on the floor. Maybe we can use that. Ooh, and, a, and a camera. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Mm -hmm. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Okay, uh, Victoria? Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where... where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. 
Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Okay, yeah, no, no one is gonna die. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is gonna die. Anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous. But it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Okay, well, you may not be strong, but as long as you can keep a clear head, we are both here. We are in this together. We are gonna get out. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me, to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Thank you, that is very sweet, but I, I don't believe myself right now. I, oh, oh, I, there was a line that Jefferson said there about, um, you know, oh, that Nathan, oh, he could never do things right, blah, 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 blah. Max, um, what can we do? What? Hold on, I'm thinking. I see you're very chatty too, Victoria. I guess I'll go to this then. Um, I, I, I said before, Nathan thrives with a male role model because he wants his father's approval and he can't get that. So he's looking for other adult men to give him that praise and attention. And Jefferson picked right up on that and thought, oh, I can use this. I can use this very nicely because this kid is really rich, so he can just buy me a nice ass studio in a really, in a location that where no one would think of. Here's the thing, I, I think this was a bunker first. I, I do believe that Sean Prescott, Nathan's father, had the bunker built as basically like a, a doomsday type, you know, bunker. And then it was probably Nathan who, you know, got, because oh, Jefferson is a wealthy photographer. He is famous. However, correct me if I'm wrong, most photographers, like you, you'd have to be like world famous to be, to have this much wealth. And Jefferson's got a teaching gig. So clearly his photography isn't paying much. So I doubt that it was Jefferson who funded the darkroom. It had to have been Nathan. Maybe he stole his dad's credit card. Hell, maybe Nathan has a trust fund he can dip into. And at Jefferson's direction, Nathan built up Jefferson's perfect darkroom. He was involved, you know, getting the the girls in, maybe taking a few photos, and every time Jefferson said, oh, that's such a good shot, Nathan. You've got a really good eye for shadows, well done. Nathan's heart will have soared. And internally he will have gone, well, that makes it all worth it then, because this guy is praising me, this guy is like my surrogate dad now, and I'm getting that male role model attention that I I don't think it's even that Nathan wants it. I think he needs it. It is something he cannot live without. I think he does love his dad, but his dad's love had strings and conditions and he wouldn't accept Nathan warts and all. Nathan clearly has problems and his parents aren't accepting of that. And I just, 
I do feel quite badly for Nathan. He's, he's still... He still did something horrible. He did something really fucked, but he, he was also taken advantage of. Jefferson saw weakness in Nathan, something he could prey upon and use. I... Oh. Okay. Okay, we got more pictures. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay, let's go about right. Left. This might work. <sighs> Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Oh, I, I think she's pissed. Max is, one, I think she's pissed off with this guy. Disgusted, angered, infuriated, despises him, all of that. But also, I think she's also a little bit disgusted with herself because she adored Mark Jefferson. Let's be honest, Max lusted after him a little bit. She definitely had a crush on him and I think that adoration blinded her to so much of what he said. She just, oh look, no, he has an innocent explanation for all of this. I don't... I don't think she wants to hear him monologue. She just wants to tell him to go fuck himself. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Ooh. Again, we're not gonna give him the satisfaction. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. And also, I love that. David, in his asshole way, was finding out the truth and we fucked him over. Because <laughs> we blamed him because he was the obvious asshole. Why wouldn't we blame him? Oh... Oh, I want to go with you use, Nathan. 
Because here's the thing. Personally, I do count Nathan as a victim of Jefferson. Nathan still did some awful things to, you know, the, the girls he brought to the darkroom. You know, he is responsible for their suffering. However, Nathan was never in control. Nathan was running around like a little puppy. Go, oh, yes, Mr. Jefferson. Of course, Mr. Jefferson. I'll get the GHB, Mr. Jefferson. Like, he was, he was kind of like Max. You know, not necessarily lusting after this guy, but lusting after the praise he could give him. The attention, that sort of thing. I want to say you use Nathan. However, I think... I, I don't think Max and I are on the same page here, so I think I'm going to go with he's as sick as you. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. Oh. That, that makes two. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. I'm, I, I, I'm more drawn to why Rachel. I, I don't think Max would want to talk about Chloe with this guy. Chloe is too precious to her. She doesn't want this asshole saying her name even. Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. She let you take pictures. Did you know, Frank? Again, I... Uh, oh. Uh, did you know Frank would be interesting? Because then we'd know if... D does he feel jealousy? Does he feel jealousy that Rachel was fucking Frank? But I... I oh. I want to know more about the darkroom. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart. I'm, back. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pause right there. <laughs> 
Because I, um, I get the feeling that we're kind of on a timer here. So I'm gonna I'm just pause everything. Oh, oh, I love this. I love this so much. Oh God. I, I love when he said, we're not so different, you and I. We really are the same. Again, Max. I, here's the thing. I think at one point, Max, she would have been overjoyed to hear that. She would have been overjoyed. And I think potentially, potentially, I can speak English. Potentially, there we go. She has been rather like Mr. Jefferson. She didn't stop Warren from beating up Nathan because... You know, we needed to get the gun. We couldn't allow Nathan to keep the gun. We didn't step in for Kate Marsh. When Kate was being bullied by David, we chose to take the shot instead. Oh, there goes my timer. Um, there, are, there have been times when Max has taken Jefferson's words to heart. And I think, again, I think she is probably looking at herself and thinking, oh my God, I was such an idiot. I was so fucking stupid. And I, I've behaved terribly. Oh, I, I love this so much. And there's, there's the reveal. What happened to Rachel Amber? Nathan, Nathan gave her an overdose. He accidentally killed her. And presumably it was Jefferson posing uh, Nathan and Rachel in the junkyard like that. Because here's the thing, Nathan, I get the feeling he'd panic. You know, oh shit, Rachel's dead. I never meant to kill her. Oh, what the fuck do I do? And he calls Jefferson, you know, ah, I fucked up, I fucked up. And Jefferson has to clean up. Jefferson has to fix things. I, oh. Oh, this. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this. This has been a great start to the final episode. But unfortunately, I do have to bring the first part to a close right here. So, until next time, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.